Hi guys, my name is Lillian and today I'm going to be making a video about how I got into Berkeley Haas School of Business. I'm going to be talking about why I applied, how I think I got in, advice, and my reflections as I just finished my first semester being a business student. So if you don't know me, I am currently a junior at UC Berkeley studying computer science and business administration. I applied to the business major at the end of my sophomore year. I applied to the undergraduate program in the Haas School of Business and I got in over the summer so I started my degree in my junior year and basically through the business administration program you can earn an undergraduate degree in business in two years but this program will be changing there's also a four-year program you can apply to as a freshman admin and you can still apply as like a continuing freshman or a sophomore to the business program so just letting you know if you're watching this in the future that the program has changed and will be changing. So everything I say here may be a little bit different than what you'll experience if you apply to the major. And right now I'll briefly go over what my application process looked like. So I had to write two essays, one was Y Haas and the other one I could choose between a personal growth essay or a diversity, equity, and inclusion essay. I had to submit a resume which was just activities that I've done throughout college and maybe high school and those were in like four different categories I think it was like leadership, community, um, volunteering, and then internship, research, and also had to take some prerequisite classes so I had to take calculus, introductory econ, and an introduction to business class and also a statistics class. You can take this the same like semester that you apply or the semester after you apply so you don't have to worry too much about the statistics requirement but these requirements were actually really easy to meet i was able to satisfy the economics and calculus credit with my ap exams and real quick before i talk about how i think i got to haas i'm going to talk about why i even applied to haas in the first place so besides the general like interest in business and wanting to pursue business as a career, I was really drawn to Haas because I liked its smaller community. As you know, UC Berkeley is a very big campus. There's around like 30,000 undergraduates and especially being a, like a tech major, being in like CS classes with over 600 students, like a thousand students in the introductory class, it can feel like a very big community and just feel like there's a lot of different people. So I kind of wanted a smaller community and like more of a private school feeling. And I think that Haas like offered that and now after my first semester, I can say like that was definitely true. I definitely do feel like a smaller community, definitely do like, get that more private school feeling, get a little bit spoiled, which is pretty nice. And I was also interested in Haas because of its like connections and people there. Yeah, like since you're getting a degree in the business school, you have really like an amazing network of people to talk to, like for career advice and anything. And like I've already talked to some professors, some other people in Haas, and they've been really amazing in just like giving me more advice and insights on my career. And yeah, overall, like those are my main two reasons why I applied to Haas. So like smaller community and wanting access to like that really great network that Haas has. So now I'll get into how I think I got into Haas and some advice for the application. So I think I got into Haas because I exemplified the four pillars of Haas and I'm sure that if you look for your advice they'll say kind of the same things to really exemplify the four pillars of four principles of Haas which are like question the status quo, confidence without attitude, student always, and beyond yourself. So one way to really make sure that you're exemplifying these values in your essay and in, in, in your application, this is one thing I did was I made an outline, I put down each principle and then I listed different things that I think cor that I did corresponded to each of the four principles. So just kind of seeing that laid out in an outline made it easy for me to kind of figure out how I want to piece them all together for a cohesive story for my Haas application. And I think overall this is just a really strong way to start your application. It'll definitely make it a lot easier for you because I think that having an application that is like very holistic is a great way to apply and makes people who are reading your application understand you and your profile a lot more and like why you're applying to Haas. So I definitely recommend starting your application out that way. I think that that is like what really got me into Haas as, as well as everyone else who got into Haas. The thing I also did was I got my friends to read over my application and I think it's really important to have like both close friends and people who you don't know too well who are in Haas to read over your application. So for example, I got two close friends and two people in Haas to read over my application. So 
I think having close friends read over your application is really important because they know you and when they're reading over your application they they may think like oh like I think you should rephrase what you did in this certain way and like I think you should include what you did here in your essay because it corresponds to like these principles and it would make like a more cohesive story so I think like your close friends they know you well and they know that and they can really like help you with the content of your essay and how to frame it because of how well they know you and I also asked two people who were in-house so who I didn't know too well to read over my essay and I think this was also really helpful because it kind of gives you another like fresh pair of eyes who don't know you who may be more similar to the people who will be reading your, applica your actual application they'll kind of tell you whether or not your like essay kind of makes sense as a story and they also have had experience like crafting their essay to exemplify the four pillars and making their essay so they'll bring that experience to reading your essay and I think that having like those four people read over my essay was just really helpful and I know that a lot of people especially applying to like Haas or like other college applications they, they think they need a lot of people to read over their essays I'll make it better but you actually don't I think four people is actually the perfect amount of people to read over my essay because I still maintain like my original tone and like voice that I wanted to be in my essay one other thing that I think was really helpful for me getting to Haas was the fact that I looked over my friend's resume who got into Haas and I think just like looking at it, like looking at how she phrased all of her activities, what activities she included, was really helpful to know like what activities I should include, like how I should frame it because there are some things that I've done in college I didn't really think to include until I saw how she included it in her resume and I was like, oh this is really smart, I should include this as well. And also just for clarification resume isn't like an actual like one page resume that you send to like um, companies for like jobs and stuff the Haas resume is just a list of like 20 activities that you've done when she gave me her resume it was in like a spreadsheet and i think that's a really good format to like draft your resume when you are applying for Haas Another reason why I think I got into Haas is because I had pretty good grades in my prerequisite classes. I was kind of nervous because maybe my GPA wouldn't be as high as other people um, since I was taking like these like hard CS classes and like data science classes. But luckily I did well in the introduction to business class, which I think is the grades that they care more about since those are the classes that they require for getting into Haas. So you don't need like a 4.0 to get into Haas. Like don't worry if you don't have a 4.0, you can definitely still get into Haas. Yeah, one other thing I want to say is that even if you aren't in a consulting club, if you're not super business or entrepreneurship focused, I would definitely still recommend applying to Haas because that's me. I wasn't in a consulting club. I was not a very entrepreneurial person, haven't made my own startup or anything, but I still applied to Haas and I still got in, so I definitely wouldn't let that deter you from applying to Haas. And just overall some advice for if you are interested in the business major and applying to Haas and you want to double major, it can be pretty difficult because like you get into Haas and you have two years to finish your original degree and your Haas degree. So something I recommend doing is taking some Haas electives in your freshman and sophomore year. So for example, I took UHBA 135 which is personal finance in my sophomore year. And I knew that even if I didn't get into Haas, I wouldn't regret taking this class because I was interested in personal finance. It's a two unit class that's like pretty chill, pretty easy. So it's really not something that's going to stress you out if you add it to your course schedule. And I also took UGBA 194, which is a one unit speaker series class. And I really enjoyed that class. It was super chill. And just by taking those two classes in my freshman and sophomore year, I was able to get like three of my Haas credits done already for my elective so I don't have to worry about that too much now that I'm a double major and I need to finish both my degrees in two years. And now I'm just going to reflect a little bit on my Haas degree and whether or not I regret being a Haas major after one semester of being a business major. Um, I'm very happy to say that I don't regret being a Haas major. I will say that I know people who do regret being a Haas major when they get in and they have dropped it. Like I know two people who have dropped the major. So it's really not for everyone and don't worry if you get into the major and you decide that it's not for you. I think that if you want to be a super technical person in the future, I honestly would not recommend going to Haas because you're going to be in the classes and you're going to be like, what am I doing with my time at college? But for me, I don't regret being a business major because I think that the things I wanted from Haas, like they really, I was really able to get them, like the small community and the more private school feeling, like I think Haas does spoil me a little bit, which I really like, like they give us our own backpacks, they have like our own undergraduate lounge in the school and there are like some special um, resources and perks for us, like we get $100 like printing credit and yeah, it's just like these small things that I feel like that I like 
and I feel like have made my college experience a little bit more like what I originally wanted. Also, Haas Network is amazing. Like, I've talked to professors and different people at Haas, and they're all super welcoming and friendly, and have given me really great career insight. So, and I know that like I'll have this Haas Network for a really long time. So, and another reason why I don't regret my Haas major is because I feel like getting a business degree from a business school in my undergraduate years i don't really need to apply to a different mba program of, or like an mba program of course this may change in the future but i think that being an undergrad at haas i already have like such a great connection to the haas network and i've already taken like business classes so hopefully i don't really need an mba in the future and i can just kind of leverage the connections and education that i already have as a business undergraduate major and yeah so this is the end of my video but well, hopefully you found it helpful and feel free to comment any questions you have about pause like um about like my experience applying and my experience as a Haas major. Yeah, when I graduate, I'll definitely make another video about like the Haas major, whether or not I regret it, and like about all the classes I took. So stay tuned for that. And if you're curious what a day in my life looks like as a double major in CS and Haas, I already made a YouTube video. So you can go check that out. And yeah, thanks for watching.